them announce it. So I'm, I'm very surprised. It's, it's a real honor. It's all about the family and our team's really supportive of each other. We tapered off a lot on our running and we just recovered a lot and then we had a, a good talk with our team just about things that we could do at this event or this meet and then things that were expected of us so that really helped. Feels awesome. I honestly didn't expect this like at all. I was just out here to have fun. This was a bonus. In college, there's like so much more chemistry in the team. Yeah, you won again, buddy. Oh. I didn't expect it. I mean, like I'm a freshman. I was just, you know, I was just trying to do my thing. It's a different animal. It's a different throw. I've never, like, ever encountered anything like that before. It took me a solid three weeks just to get so I could get through the ring without falling down. But uh, once I got the feel of it, it started like it started clicking, it, and you know, it just it, pieces fell together. She's an honor. It's pretty awesome. <laughs> Triple jump really took off since coming here. This has been the quickest season I've ever experienced. It's only been, I guess, the five weeks since I've been back in January. I was abroad last semester in England, so it was hard being away from the team all during like captain's practices training area. So it was really just a lot of mentally coming back into things. Feels really good. I was seated first in the 60, so I expected to win that. In the 200, I wasn't expecting to win, and I ended up winning by a little margin, and I was happy with my results. I know I have the speed, but the technique is what makes the difference. So that's what I worked on. I would say my roommate, Tom Masterson, just because me and him really push each other in practice and uh, it's really good competition to have. Feels great because it's my senior year. This is exactly the way I wanted to go out. Actually, I've struggled with this in high school. My coach is always like, oh, you're going to do the hurdles. And I was, I'm a head case, so I didn't want to do them. And then once I got here and actually had like a really good hurdling coach, I was really pushed by my other teammates. So ever since, I started dropping my times, like that's just always been my race. Kind of a very um, overwhelming moment because I think the coaches have worked really hard to prepare everybody, but the athletes, it always comes back on them because we don't compete. They shut up, they worked hard today. We're very fortunate because um, Ina Santensteiner was the rookie of the year. Um, she won the 200. Um, both our four by two and four by four, um, both won today, the four by two set, set the MAC record. Um, Joanna Walker won the hurdles. Alicia Farrell won the 400 and the long jump and we had so many other people that placed and got points here and there that we really needed. Our pentathletes did a great job and we always remember too we have one of our ladies who's not with us who had passed away a couple years ago so we always compete with Nicole would be with us this year as a senior so we miss her too. I feel relieved right now because I knew that Messiah and Elizabethtown especially were going to be bringing their A game. And I knew that our team was young and they I didn't know how they were going to react to the pressure. I just expressed to them what the tradition of Widener track and field is and how important it is for, for them to be hopeful and not expecting. I think the performance that uh, exemplifies the uh, effort of the team throughout the day was the effort of our 400 meter runner who won the 400 had to dive across the finish line in order to win and I think him putting out that kind of effort inspired the rest of the team to do really well. And the other uh, performance I do want to point out was the performance of Ryan Gallagher. It was the first 5,000 race he's ever run indoors at a conference championship. He was able to win the 5,000. He was also very inspirational to, to me and the team.